Good morning, everyone. So a question that inevitably comes up in almost every year-end review that we have uh, is what is depreciation or what does that mean? So when you purchase an asset, uh, this is Canadian rules, when you purchase an asset, you do not expense that asset right away. Instead, what you do is you claim a depreciation amount. There are many different ways of claiming depreciation amount. Um, the one that we most commonly use is the same method that the CRA uses, or the government uses for uh, capital cost allowance, which is the essentially the same thing. And so different assets like you know equipment will have 20% um, depreciation per year, computers are 55, vehicles are 30, you know, stuff like that. So when you're reviewing your financial statements, if you've purchased an asset and you see a loss on there, that loss does not include the assets that you purchased. Okay, it just doesn't. This just recently came up with uh, with a client of mine, and you know they thought that their loss was um, inclusive of the asset that they bought, so they didn't think of uh, anything of it, um, and just assumed that they were okay because that loss was from from an asset that they purchased. But in fact, it wasn't from the asset they purchased. And in fact, on that financial statement, uh, because it was an interim financial statement, there was no uh, depreciation recorded. So. Uh, they're actually, in that case, was doing worse off than what they thought. Um, the good news is, is that they contacted me and I was able to explain exactly what was going on uh, in their business and why they had a loss. Capital cost allowance from, from a government perspective has, uh, there's a new program out the last couple of years, AIIP, um, Accelerated Investment Incentive Program which uh, allows you to claim three times the depreciation that you would normally be able to claim in the first year. That's something we can probably talk about in another video. So that, you know, that allows you to, to claim an accelerated amount and that's to uh, encourage people to buy assets uh, and stimulate the economy a little bit. So um, I think it's working. Um, you should never buy anything you don't need though, right? We've always said that. Anyways, I hope that helps. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends and be well.